So Google Photos is ending the unlimited photo and video storage that was available to all Android and iOS devices on 31st of May 2021. So from June the 1st, everyone will have to either pay for Google One, which is a bit steep, or you can switch to any other services. So, so I've divided this video into part one, which is cloud storage, and part two, which is physical storage. Depending on what you prefer, you can skip to the part of the video and check that out. So first, cloud storage. The first option is Yandex Disk, which gives you unlimited photo storage and uh, 10 gigabytes worth of video storage at original quality. So that's option one. Now, you can pay for more storage, of course, with Yandex as well, but it's a good choice for your photos by itself. Also, there is a mobile app which will auto-upload all your photos that you take with Yandex. So there is a PC website and a mobile app. The next option is Digibox. Now, normally I don't include paid options, but this one is really cheap. So uh, Digibox is an Indian company that is hosting cloud storage. They give you 20 gigabytes for free. And then on top of it, if you pay 30 rupees or 50 cents a month, you get two terabytes of storage, which is a lot of storage for the price. So that's another option for cloud storage. Now the third option might be a little unpopular or a little weird for some people, but Google hasn't discontinued Google Photos for all the older Pixel devices as well as the current ones. So from Pixel 2, 3, 4, 4a and 5, all of them will have cloud storage unlimited for the rest of their lifetime but Google has removed this feature from newer pixels which may release next year so if you're looking to grab a pixel this might be the perfect time of course with uh, Google Photos you get all the machine learning and all the editing features that you don't get with Yandex or Digibox so if that's something you prefer to use maybe go for a pixel let's look at the physical storage options so the first one and the most secure and maybe the most expensive of the bunch as well but it's all worth the money is Network Attached Storage or NAS. Now you can get a disk class NAS and put any amount of storage that you want. Say in this example, we're gonna use two two terabyte disk and a WD NAS. So that would cost about 27,000 rupees or about 400 US dollars. Now that will give you two terabytes of total storage with redundancy and you can share the NAS with your family members. So not just one device can access it. You can access it from anywhere from any phone and all of the data is partitioned in a way that none of the people would be able to access each other's data. So it's basically your personal cloud storage. Now option two is a micro SD card. Now you may be thinking micro SD card, how much can it really store? But micro SD cards have come a long way. You can get SD cards up to two terabytes. Now I personally don't recommend going up that much, but uh, 128 gig or 256 gig micro SD card is a good place to start. So the benefit of the SD card is that it's always with you and in the phone. So you can always access your photos, share it on WhatsApp or messaging apps without having to download it from the cloud storage or your personal storage first. The downside being the speed and the cost. Now there's no redundancy and micro SD cards are known to fail after a few years. So you will have to take good care of them once they're out of the device and you're moving between devices because it's gonna last longer than the phone you're using. Now, the third and the kind of a middle ground option for storage is a portable SSD. Now, there are a few options here as well, but the notable ones are Samsung T5 or T7, depending on what your budget is, and a SanDisk rugged SSD, which is a Xtreme Pro. Now, both these SSDs offer 500 gigabytes of starting storage, and you can get high-speed transfers from your phone and it can be carried with you. It's very portable and it's as close to a size of a credit card and a USB cable attached to it so you can transfer files. The benefit of SSDs over SD cards is that they last much longer, they have a higher speed, they can be used with computers easily and they are available in rugged options. So the SanDisk one, you can see is IP55, will be protected. So there is a less chance of data loss when you drop an SSD when compared to an SD card or any other physical media. Also, the other thing I don't recommend is mechanical hard drives. Don't buy mechanical hard drives in 2021. No matter how tempting the data might look, 
you might get a four terabyte disk for the same price as a 500 gig SSD, but they are not as great as an SSD because they have moving parts and moving parts wear out over time. So that's my last suggestion. So these are the six options you can actually go for after Google Photos ends its free unlimited storage period. So that's a wrap. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you liked it, share it with your friends, leave a comment if you have a question. Don't forget to subscribe and check my other videos on the screen and I'll see you guys in the next one.